Okay, this is part three of modeling a communication device for Blender Challenge 3. And this is my cassette player uh, that I've got so far. And it's time to make some changes. Uh, I'm going to select the base here and isolate that. And I'm going to do some work here and make some changes, like I said. In edge selection, I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge. And I'm going to dissolve those edges. In face selection, I'm going to shift alt and click all of that P and break it out and make it a new object. And I go into edit mode for that and control seven to look from the bottom. And I'm going to scale this in the X so it's underneath that piece a little bit like that. And in the Y, I'm holding down shift so I don't go too quickly and I'll get that kind of a thing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this piece and I'm going to, in edge selection, shift alt to click there after make a face. And yes, I've got another end gun. And I'm actually not going to worry about those. This is a flat surface and this is a flat surface down there. And uh, I'm going to be doing something that's going to create them. And it's not a problem for these kind of static uh, models. Um, so I'm going to look from the side and wireframe and actually want to grab this and make it a little bit taller. So I'm going to be doing some work on the side of that. Okay, so this is what we've got uh, so far. I'm now in edge selection. I'm going to shift alt to click that edge and this edge here. And we're going to bevel this. Control B, pull, and I'm going to give one, two, maybe three segments there. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now, if I go Control-3 and look from the side, in fact, maybe I'll bring everything else back, and we'll have to move this stuff. So might as well do all that right now. Uh, I'm going to move all this stuff down a bit. All right, so just like about there for now. Okay, so what I need to do in this video, other than what I just did, is I'm going to create um, a little space I'm going to have a couple of uh, like RCA jacks or inputs, uh, and I'm going to have a volume control. And so I'm going to do them on this side, control three, and I'm going to put them right here. So I'm going to select that face there and uh, shift S cursor to select it. In fact, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to use it. Shift D and bring it out, P to break it out. And I've got that. And I'm going to scale this in the Y. Control 3, look from the side, get the approximate width that I would want this to be uh, around that center point. I'm going to pull it over here and pull it down to here. And I want this up around there. I'm going to have two circles in there. So that's a good start. So let's select those two uh, vertices and bevel them. Shift Control B, pull. And I'm going to have five uh, vertices there, and that's going to be just like that. E to extrude, I'm going to pull this back, give it some thickness. I don't think I want uh, the bevel on there, and I'm just going to shade this flat for now. So I would have that. Let's set the origin of geometry. Pull it in, um, and I don't need it to go too deep. Uh, or do I? We'll try. We'll actually try that. Might be too deep, I'm not sure. Okay. Let me look at this. Um, I'm gonna go into edit mode and shift D. I'm gonna take another piece over here and bring it down. And this is where the volume knob would go. Like that. So they're joined together. And let's go ahead and we're gonna do a Boolean. Yes, we are. I think I may have said something about not doing Booleans, but I've decided I am doing Booleans. Select that. Let's hit apply. Let's take that and hide. Okay, so now uh, let's go in. It might be too far. On the other hand, I think I am fine with that. Mm. No, I think I'm going to back out. I want to go a little bit less far than that. All right, a little bit less far than that. And I'll come out to there. Okay, let's let's give that a try now. Same routine, select that. Hide those for now in case I gotta redo it. Select this, go in, Alt N, recalculate outside. And I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay, 
uh, any shading issues should be fixable using weighted normal and auto smooth and that's gonna be okay all right um, yeah okay so let's uh, bring those back how did I get how did I hide oh there they are and get rid of them let's make sure we save and um, let's hide that I'm gonna come in here so yeah like I say end gods but it's not a problem all right this is not going to deform uh, and so might as well you know as long as you know what your use is uh, they're not evil things uh, shading is going to be fine on them the texture is going to be fine on them they're not going to deform they're not going to cause a problem so there's no reason at all not to use them no reason at all uh, I would not want to do this with all quads there's, there's no need for that okay anyways uh, I'm going to bring in a circle for this one I'll go for I might use subdivision surface so I'm going to go for just I'll go for 18 Let's scale that down we'll rotate Y90 and scale it down again control 3 to look from the side and just G to grab scale it down so I'm going to have two of these here okay so yeah, I want a you know, relatively big okay so I'm going to come in E and S and select it and give it some thickness like this and in edge selection I'm going to select that edge and this edge that's probably all I need in control B I'll roll my mouse back and just put one in there and because I'm going to go control two anyhow or um, maybe I can get away with with just one and shade oops shade smooth I probably could anyhow uh, because I probably want to uh, put an edge loop down here although I don't actually know if I need that because I'm going to get rid of the back face so let's just isolate that and shift alt and click there and get rid of those faces yeah that's, that's fine although you know what I might do is uh, shift alt and click there and just scale that in just to make it a little bit sharper that's gonna be pretty much and uh, maybe I'll do that for this one as well Let's scale that out now I feel like I need another edge loop in there but really you're not gonna see it close enough so it's not gonna be a problem so let's uh, you know set the origin of geometry on this guy and shift D let's copy that out and I'll come in and I'm just gonna uh, scale shift X make it a bit smaller do that okay and that's how that is gonna go let's uh what did i do that let's bring it back this way so the two of those are going to just press okay i'm not making a hole in the body i'm just going to do it that way so i got that and uh, now what i would do is i would just copy it over and if i like that but i don't like how thick this is I could just come back in here and wireframe and box select this and I can just pull it in you know like this and I can pull this in and it all will be just fine the only thing is I think they're I think they're a bit big I don't know I just feel like they're big are they I just feel like they are. Um, now, if I go into individual origins, I'm going to take those as a scale shift X. Yeah, that's fine, actually. All right, anyways. That's okay. All right, good enough. Um, let's move over here, though. And let's select that. And I'll show you how I want to do my volume control. Something a little bit different this time. Um... I'm going to bring in a circle and again I may use subdivision surface I said I wasn't going to do that too much and I'm not going to do it too much but where where I need it um let's just go for 18 again all right we'll scale this thing down and uh, for this one um, I don't I don't think I need a subdivision so I think it's gonna hit F and E to extrude and give it some thickness like this 
and I'm going to select those edges and bevel them and I'll put one or so and I'm going to try this just shade smooth that's going to be probably good enough um, I'm going to leave it there for now and I'm going to bring my cursor to that and here's the trick it's not much of a trick but I'm going to create a circle but I'm going to go for like a lot 64 vertices go into edit mode don't worry I'm not going to use them I'm going to scale it down until it's you know, pretty much fits okay and with all those vertices selected I'm going to come up to select oops select uh, check or deselect and then I'm going to hit S and I'm going to pull or am I going to push well first of all we're going to get into medium point so I'm going to do this you get this sort of saw blade kind of effect okay and now I'm going to hit E to extrude I'm going to give this thickness so that it kind of wraps around the circle I can adjust all this and then I'm going to use solidify and I'm probably just going to accept the default value and then I'm going to use bevel and I'm probably just going to leave that I could do that and let's just leave it like that for the moment and I'm going to scale this in just a bit okay but I want to make sure the teeth show and I can work on um, the positions of all these things let's look from here okay you see so I'll take this and slide it up a bit I just want it central I don't care if a little bit of the circle is, is above uh, and below and it's just fine with me and then so I've got this now we'll get this into position we'll look from the top and pull it in I want about 10 or 12 teeth sticking out so let's see uh, what I where I'm at let's say if it looks like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. that's that's great I might go even a little bit further in something like that is fine okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and go into edit mode and in wireframe and I'm just going to chop this mesh bisect and I'm just going to cut like this like there I probably could go a little closer to the body but and what I want to do clear inner and back to usual deselect it's ugly but no one's going to see it and then I'm just going to I might scale this in the Z a little bit and move it down a little bit and just decide if that's still sticking out too much for me yeah I think I feel like it is okay yeah so that is my volume control and let's just uh I don't know, just bring the well I'm gonna get rid of that anyhow I'm gonna hide that stuff and we're gonna have a look oh what do I got on that's not what I wanted oh do I need to uh do something with these well let's use this then Ah, you see you can see that my buttons are flipped so let's go let's go just select that and let's select them all this stuff and I'll then we calculate outside and probably all this stuff too so can I just select everything and go to edit mode and we'll just make sure everybody is playing nice face orientation everything is doing just fine now okay so that's what I got I might make these stick out more maybe not uh, but that's all I wanted to do in this quick video was to fix the body up a little bit and uh, do those and have a look we're still doing just uh, pretty good with the polys and uh, there's more I want to do on the other side and something I want to do on the back and then we're gonna move to the to the cassette Cool. All right. Thanks for watching.